here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Uh, the Caveco Sport is a pen that took me a while to appreciate when I first started getting into this hobby. It's a bit non-standard in regard to its blocky looks, and smaller pocket pens really weren't my thing at the time. But after I purchased my first Skyline Sport and used it for a while, I grew to appreciate them more. Uh, today, I have for you a pen in Caveco's Sport series that has been around for a couple of years, but I hadn't previously had the chance to check it out, and that is one of their Art Sport series. Uh, what makes this different is that rather than metal or injection molded plastic, the pen is made from an acrylic resin. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the art sport, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about this diminutive offering. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Van Ass Pens who provided this pen for review. The Art Sport arrives in one of Caveco's traditional tins. I've always felt that these are one of the cooler boxes for pens. Um, Van S carries these pens in four different varieties. There is the Terrazzo, the Hickory Brown, the Mineral White, and the Pebble Blue. And the version I have to share with you today is the Mineral White. Um, I am fond of this white crushed ice resin. It does have some personality and depth to it. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the parts and features of this pocket pen. Uh, on the top in metal is an inlaid coin with the company logo. Now, I've mentioned this before in previous Quebeco reviews, but I, I like to talk about the meanings behind things, so I'll mention it again. The logo is divided into three sectors like this because the company name is comprised of groups of two letters representing the last names of the two gentlemen who took over the company back in 1899. Uh, K.O. for Heinrich Koch, uh, and then W.E. for Rudolf Weber, and the C.O. for Company. Um, I like the subtle dimpling behind the letters as well. Uh, this transitions into the clip. Uh, the clip on this pen is affixed as opposed to the other types of removable uh, clips Caveco offers. Uh, and this clip has a bit of a different design with a swooping profile and it's stamped with the company name. Uh, the clip is fairly flexible and is easy to use with materials of varying thicknesses. Uh, the cap is faceted and really is one of the distinguishing features of this pen. There are eight facets surrounding the cap. On clipless sports, these facets serve as a nice roll stop in order to prevent the pen from rolling around. Uh, they still serve that purpose on this model, but the clip itself helps out in those regards. One of the facets is engraved with Quebeco Art Sport in Germany, the country where the company is based. Um, I'm always a big fan of engraving that hides in plain sight. On this specific model, unless you are looking for it or see the pen in just the right light, you're really never going to notice the engraving. Um, I think that not filling the engraving on this pen with a darker lacquer works for this model. And the end of the cap actually transitions from octagonally faceted to round. And at the end, there is a medium-sized step down from the cap to the barrel. The visible portion of this barrel is straight for about three quarters of an inch, and there is a very smooth and subtle step down to the back end of the barrel, which is also straight. The very end of the barrel is slightly rounded and has a little indentation. I've always thought that this was interesting. I believe the indentation is a byproduct of the injection molded plastic process, but on the metal and resin versions of the sport, they still incorporate that little indentation for the sake of consistency across the models, I believe. The cap twists off with a rotation and a half, and underneath we have a number four stainless steel nib. Now, there are a lot of nib options with this pen. You can have this silver colored nib, or there is one in a gold tone. For an additional cost, you could have one in black. Uh, there's also a, a Quebeco premium nib. 
In regard to tipping size, it's available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, double broad, four different sizes of italics, and finally the Bach Twin Nib, which is a nib that actually writes in two lines at the same time, one thicker and one thinner. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section is fairly small. It's concave and quickly transitions into a small step up to the resin threads and the remainder of the barrel. Um, I do find the sport to be long enough to comfortably use unposted. However, it is very light. Um, this is a pen which is really meant to be posted. The cap posts very deeply and securely. And while the pen is still fairly light overall, the additional weight of the cap, I feel, serves the writing experience well. Uh, the cap and barrel are actually the very same weight. Uh, the weight of the cap, what little there is, is distributed over a wider area of the barrel so that it doesn't backweight the pen or throw off the balance at all. This is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges, one of which is included with this pen. It also accepts these Caveco Mini converters, which aren't bad. They work well, but are available to purchase separately at a reasonable price. Uh, with this pen being made from a solid piece of resin and with a fairly large barrel capacity, this would be a perfect pen to eyedropper. Uh, I would eyedropper the first sport I owned all the time. Uh, this white material is a tiny bit translucent, so if you eyedroppered it, you might be able to see your ink situation. That might not be the case for other resins being used in this Art Sport series, though. Uh, this Caveco Art Sport series is available to purchase on the Van S. Pens website. I will put a link to this specific mineral white model in the notes below this video. The price for this pen in this series is $125, which is considerably more than a standard sport model. But given the fact that it's made from resin and not injection molded, I understand the price point and feel that it's reasonable. I would have felt differently if this was more like $149 or $159. Uh, I think that would be a bit too high, but having it in the 120s feels appropriate. Um, it's been a couple of years since they were released, but I'm glad to uh, see Caveco make these models out of resin. Uh, to be honest, I had looked into potentially offering a sport as one of my custom projects. I thought a sport made from a cool custom resin would look really great. Uh, however, the order minimums required from the company in regard to something like that made it a little bit prohibitive for me uh, and how I typically run my projects. We'll see. Maybe one day it might become more feasible. But in the meantime, I will enjoy using this art sport. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Caveco Art Sport, and this is in the mineral white. I wanted to give you another look at that kind of crushed ice resin, where basically, if you're not familiar with the technique, what they do is they make some resin, so they would make some white resin, and then literally crush it up and chop it up into bits, and then uh, reform it, and kind of reform it with uh, another... Uh, sometimes clear and sometimes colored resin color. So it was probably another white resin. Uh, and then that's how you come up with that look. Uh, sometimes I like it. Other times uh, it's not my favorite. But in this particular pen, I think it works really well and looks nice. So in regard to some size comparisons with some other pocket pens, um, here is one which was the Big Eye uh, this was called the Fountain Pen, or it was called the Fountain EDC. That's what it was called. Uh, and then this is one of the Metal Quebeco Sports. Uh, and then here is another sport. And this one was the Iridescent Pearl. I always thought this material looked really nice. And I like the chatoyance on that particular model. Uh, and then this is the very first sport I purchased. And this is what the clip looks like on there. It's a removable clip that you can just take off. Uh, but you can see here the difference in design between those two clips. But that's what it looks like in comparison. With one more Quebeco pen, this is the Lilliput. 
Uh, and then for a couple of non Quebeco pens, this is the Shibui North Pocket Fox in titanium. Uh, and then here is a Shown Design Faceted Pocket 6. In regard to uncap and posted comparisons, since that's how you probably will be using this pen, uh, this is what it looks like with the Lilliput. Uh, and then here is the Big Eye Design. That was the Fountain EDC. And then here is the Shown Design Pocket 6. So here we go with the writing sample for the Caveco. And this is the Art Sport. Uh, this is the Mineral White. And this is a broad stainless steel nib. And the ink that I'm using is one that I have enjoyed, which is also available at uh, Van S. Pens, which is Dominant Industries. Uh, and this is uh, Milky Way Blue. This is what the ink looks like. I really enjoyed this deep blue with some purple sheening to it. And uh, I just think that it has a lot of depth to it and enjoy that. Um, it's somewhat similar to Diamine's Bloody Brexit. Uh, and then this is what it looks like with KWZ's Sheen Machine. This is what the bottle looks like. You can see this is part of their Pearl series and you can see that shimmer at the bottom that kind of goes away when you shake it up. So it's uh, an interesting ink and that's also available on the Vanish site. Okay, here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh oh, I went out of frame there. And you can see I was using it without it being posted. We'll go ahead and post it for the rest. Um, this broad nib is fairly smooth. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of that. Um, especially if you push it. Now, there's really not much in the way of line variation. In regard to ink flow, I think that this one is rather generous. And in regard to reverse writing, it is a little scratchy. It does lay down an extra, extra fine line. And then in regard to, I think I got something caught in it. Let's see here. Yes, I got something caught in it. Now that it is out, that happens sometimes when you reverse write and it kind of catches in the paper. But you can see once I clean that out that the uh, feed kept up just fine. So there we have the Caveco Art Sport Mineral White. Um, I enjoy these Cavecos that are made, or the sports that are made out of resin. I think that they uh, look rather interesting. And like I said, one of these days I hope to uh, have one as a project. I think that that would look really neat with some really cool resin. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.